This is it, baby. <laughs> number 26. So we're here at the Lifeguard <laughs> Tower number 26, which is Joanna's inspiration, inspiration my... for her art and the work that she does. Why this? What is it about this place that has inspired your art? You know, from as a surfer looking onto the, onto the shore, all you see are the lifeguard towers. And it's like my haven, you know, it's my safety net. I know that there's gonna be somebody looking out for me. And it's really peaceful when you're out there. You're, you're sitting, you're the ocean, and then it just looks really sculptural in the landscape. So, so you, you've been able to see this vision countless times when you're in the years. water. 17 years of looking at this sculpture on the sand. And so. now you're immortalizing it in your art. Let's talk about your process for this art mm -hmm. that you do. I find that I always, I paint, I'm very prolific in the early morning and very late at night when everybody's asleep and it's just quiet and still. And um, I tend to gravitate towards uh, bright colors, especially blue. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I do use acrylic on wood and paper and paint and, uh, and canvas. And I use spray paint and then I use the brushes and I use markers, so it's mixed media. And I also do some silk screens and I draw on the silk screen. And I work on about anywhere from seven to 10 paintings at a time. Because so you, you move from one to another? Literally, they're all sitting there. They're all there in front of me and I'll sit and I'll be like, oh, this is, because usually my color schemes, I don't like to waste paint. <laughs> the Filipino Very in me. Filipino. <laughs> So if I overdid it, then I'll be like, well, I need to use all this paint. So then I'll go off some here. So then as a consequence, my, there's a palette and the, there's, a, there's a unity to the, to the paintings. Aside from the fact that the subject matter is the same. People ask me, are you going to paint something else? And I said, no, that's all I paint right now. <laughs> it's very interesting to me that you have absolutely no fine art training. No, I don't. I'm self-taught. That is amazing. No, really, I'm baffled at walang nagturo sa'yo, pero... Nagagawa mo to. And when I look at it, maganda siya. Thank it's you. not like, you know, oh, you know, some seven year old could have done this. No, it really looks professional. Like, <sighs> you're a real artist. I know, I'm a real artist. And people have been collecting it, like real collectors. Yeah, not because, just... <laughs> I mean, when I look at it, I go, this is an emblem, this is an iconic representation of what it means to to be in California. Exactly, it's a California icon and it represents how I feel about my whole surf and beach life with family. It, it all represented with this whole, what this is involved in, you know, everything is kind of wraps around that and then it's related to surfing and the beach and I don't know, it just stirs the creative side of me. It just, and it makes me feel happy. I'm so happy when I paint, I can't even, I can't even take it. <laughs> well, Joanna, I'm so glad we got this chance to talk about Thank your you. art. I'm so glad that we're here at Manhattan Beach. And I'm also very excited for you because you've got this exhibit coming up. Yes. Please tell all our Kababayans about the exhibit because I want them to check out your art uh -huh. and support our Filipina-American artist, Joanna bacalso Garel. Where is it going to take place? It's going to be on Abikini in Venice Beach, just south of Venice Boulevard, and it's going to be closing this weekend. This, this weekend. weekend. Yeah. So come and check it out before we close. Um, San, uh, yeah, where is it? Uh, 1731 Abikini Boulevard. 1731 Abikini Boulevard. And it's closing June 14th. Ako po si Effie Barker at nandito ako ngayon sa Sobac Gallery in Abu Dhabi, Venice Beach para sa opening exhibit na pinamagatang Infinity Infinities featuring the film artist Juana Bacalso Garao. How did you prepare for this exhibit? You know, it took a lot of planning. Um, we started actually in January. We started looking for places and it's been, um, it's been fun because part of the research was to actually go to a lot of different um, art events. So that's always fun. So a lot of inspiration as we've been along. If you it's good to have people support you in doing something that you said you were going to do a year ago and to make it to see it come to fruition. So I think I just you know feel good that I actually just followed through with something that I wanted to do and I've been getting a good response with it. What can people expect from this exhibit? I think from this exhibit you will see a refreshing new take on art. My partner has an amazing, vibrant, she's got more of a sophistication to her art because she's been doing it longer. Mm -hmm. And um, I really admire her work. She's got a great eye, attention to detail. So I think you could expect a lot of surprising things that aren't necessarily that you've seen before.